Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and first look of the Made in France Rock Kick Boxing Gloves. So stay tuned. Hey, what's up guys? Carlo here and today I'm super excited to bring you guys an unboxing and first look of the Made in France Rocket Boxing Gloves. Now I decided to do an unboxing of this particular brand because this would be the very first pair of gloves that I've gotten that were not only sold by a French company but are also manufactured there so that's pretty rare. Um, obviously it's very similar to brands like Fly uh, that uses the materials regional to them in the UK, winning in Japan, um, and then obviously like Reyes and the other Mexican brands that are made in Mexico. One View One here in the United States, as well as like Gollum Boxing and several others that are made within the region instead of um, everything kind of being sold out of, or made, should I say manufactured in Pakistan and then sold through their own branding. So the vast majority of gloves you do see in the world are made in Pakistan or India or even China. So it's really nice to see that you get gloves from other regions um, that are starting to make more gear. Now Rocket is a fairly new company. Obviously, I'll leave all of their information in the description box so you guys can check them out. But they're fairly new. Uh, but based on from the photos I've seen on their Instagram and just uh, their website, their gear looks pretty cool. So let's go ahead and cut this open. This will be a first for both myself and for you guys as a viewer. So let's check these gloves out. Go ahead and cut these open. I received these yesterday, um, and it only took a couple of days from France. I believe these were shipped via DHL. The nice thing about international shipping with, with DHL is they're a lot quicker than using like your local um, like your local post office. So if you're here in the States and you're shipping something via USPS, a lot of times, especially right now with the, with the pandemic going on, you're running into a lot of issues with shipping delays, especially international, you know, out of, out of the United States and into the United States. Not only just from a, a shipping standpoint, but from customs. So a lot of times customs will, will get your gear and then they inspect it. And a lot of times that process, that process can be really long. So it was really nice that it only took a couple of days via DHL. I highly recommend to use DHL or even UPS if you're going to do international. So you can see it has a pretty standard cardboard box, but it's really nice that they actually add um, their their logo on here, their company logo, it says Rock Kick. And it's actually, I believe that's some kind of like taped on logo. It looks really good, it's pretty sharp. It says Rock Kick on that side. On the other side, it just has the K and the other K is kind of reverse, it says Handmade for You. Go ahead and open this up. Let's see how it looks on the inside. All right. You guys have kids, they love popping these things. I know I'm kind of off topic, but my kids love stepping on these little air bubble things. So save this for them. Keeps them occupied for a couple minutes. And there it is. So it has kind of this canvas uh, type bag that it comes in. It says Rocket in gold lettering right there. And a white drawstring cord with a compression clip that opens it up. And then the inside, let's go ahead and pull these gloves out. So the big reveal, beautiful, all white uh, with red as the accent color. So that looks really nice. I'm going to go ahead and pull the other one out before we actually dig into these gloves a little bit. And here's the left glove. So these are sizing, with, I believe these are six, yeah, 16 ounces. So here, there you have it, all white, genuine leather. That's the back of the glove. You have the Rock Kick logo that's printed right there. Leather smells really good. The leather reminds me somewhat of fly. It has more of a kind of a um, smoother texture to it, to the leather, as you can see. And it kind of reminds me of fly in that respect. Um, but the leather looks really, really nice. And they actually laced up the laces for me before they sent it out. I'm going to go ahead and undo those. That way we can actually see the laces. The laces are really nice and long. For both sides, really nice and even. They use the oval laces as well, so you can see it. It's kind of an oval flat lace instead of 
a circular one or the standard cheap release is there. It says Rockic on the wrist, handmade in France. I'll show you guys that. And that's actually embossed into the leather, like stamped into the leather. It's kind of like when you get something branded onto leather. And it says the KK right there, 16 ounces. Um, you do have red, red piping on the inner palm. Black double stitching. Here's the grip bar. The grip bar on it, it's about medium in size, pretty soft right there, soft feeling. And a attached thumb on right there, that's in red. And then the cuff on the back is flat, so it does have a flat cuff. On the inside, it actually has a tag right here that says fabrication in France. And, the, and a 16 ounce weight tag right there as well. I don't know if you guys can see that. There's a 16 ounce tag right there. And you can see the red piping goes all the way from the palm and extends down and rotates into the cuff. Now, just from my first impression, the stitching looks really nice. No, nothing messy, all nice and symmetrical, nice and straight. You know, the leather is tucked in nicely into the actual foam. The foam itself, just feeling it out, has a firm, to medium density, so you can see there. Obviously, when I start using these, I'll get a much better idea of how they perform and what spectrum of the kind of padding they are, but it's definitely a multi-layer foam padding. And then it says Rock Cake also in kind of a cursive script. I think it actually looks really nice. I, lo I love the way that looks. It has kind of a in custom feel to it with a Rock Cake signature on the thumb, so that's a really nice added touch that they did. I do love the design of it. I think their logo looks really cool. And with the, is that, I don't know if that's a pentagon or a hexagon, but with that shape, with the logo in the middle, with the signature, it's just enough. Like you, you, you get the branding on here, but it's not overdone. You know, stitching on the sides look really clean overall. You can see the edges. The back of the wrist looks pretty good. Um, again, the back of the wrist I'd say has about, oh, three quarters, almost to an inch of really pretty dense padding on the back. The inner palm side right here has about, I'd say a half inch of padding. That's pretty firm as well. So let's go ahead and slide it on. Kind of give you guys my first impression of how these feel. Oh wow, they actually feel really, really nice. It has a very unique feel to it. The liner has kind of a, um, kind of a foamy feel, if I were to describe the liner. It doesn't feel like a satin, liner like you would find with like a, or a nylon liner or satin, like a, a winning type liner where it's smooth. Um, it almost reminds me of like the Everlast Evercool liner, the one that they use in some of their C3 gear that's yellow, and it has more of a cloth foamy feel to it. That's definitely what the liner feels like in this glove. It has more of a, a kind of a dry foamy feel rather than a satin silky feel, if that makes any sense. So. Definitely a unique feel. One thing I do like is that it doesn't feel bunched up on the inside. Everything feels nice and clean. Really nice deep fist, fist finger compartment. You, you can feel that your, your finger really rolls down nice and tight. Um, and you can feel the stitching right here on the finger compartment. Thumb feels really good as well. No awkwardness right there. Not too much padding on the back. And my thumb is in a good spot. I don't feel like it jams on the tip as well. So when I come down with it, I don't feel like the index portion of the glove collapses onto my thumb. Let's go ahead and throw this other one on real quick. Just to make sure both of them feel symmetrical. But yeah, it feels really good. Um, it does have a semi-broken in feel. It's going to take some time to really be able to open up your palm all the way. Right now, as it stands, as I'm holding the glove, I can get it right about there with my maximum effort. So just give it some time using these for training and they definitely will break in. It just takes a little while for the leather to soften up. But really nice thumbs. Piping isn't too tight on the thumb. Hand feels good, has good ergonomics. And there's definitely enough room in there for your hand wraps. So sizing wise, I would definitely say that these are kind of on the medium to large size, not in terms of the profile and the size of the glove, but the hand compartment um, is snug enough, but gives you enough room to fit in with your, your hand wraps and not worry about your, 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 you know, your blood circulation feeling like it's getting cut off in your hand. But very nice, man. I'm super impressed by the leather. 
the overall quality. There's a little bit of an indentation right there, so I don't know if that's from the leather or from the foam. You can see that right there. I don't know if that is from the foam, but other than that, it looks pretty good. I think that might just be maybe a, like, a, like a little indentation in the leather if I'm looking at it. But really, that's the only thing I'm seeing if I'm kind of nitpicking, but the leather looks really nice. Nice and clean, beautiful color. The white's very vibrant. I definitely like the uh, the branding that they put on the glove and how they print it in. Liner feels really nice. Um, it doesn't have any ventilated holes. That would have been nice to see some some kind of ventilation, maybe on the palm and on the thumb. Just because of this this foam material that they use on the inside as a liner, um, definitely I could feel like it's kind of getting warm and I haven't even worked out on them. I can feel like my hand is getting warm already. So just something so that the, the glove can breathe out and let your, your hands breathe a little bit more while you're using them. But overall, I mean, they look really nice. I do like the flat cuff look too. Uh, maybe they'll come out with the triple cuff design if they haven't already, where you, when you lace these up, you can really lock the laces down on the back of the wrist and get that crisscross pattern to really lock your wrist in. But overall, man, super impressed. Quality of the gloves look really, really nice. Definitely a high-end glove. Leather looks fantastic. You know, construction is definitely up there. Double stitching looks really great. Overall, super impressed with these gloves. Just can't wait to try these out on the bag. And uh, hopefully once this pandemic starts to slow down or complete, comes to an end, hopefully soon, then we can get some sparring in and see how these do with that as well. So hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing video with me. If you guys have any questions or comments, again, make sure you guys leave them down below in the comments box. I'll put the link in the description box uh, for the Rocket Boxing. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.